Hey, it's super foggy this morning, but it's warm. So it's like, I don't know, it's warm. It's probably 58, 60 or something like that. It's not cold, but it's just really foggy. So let's go check out the beach. I'm just walking, just got coffee. Thought we'd just go check it out. It's been a couple days since I've been down here and it's real foggy, real quiet this morning. Nothing going on, nobody really out. Nobody's out right now. Saturday morning. So it's Saturday morning. We're here at Pasquale's. Pizza by the slice. Look at this, man. How it's just so quiet. There is just no one out. the doggy diner sign right there it's a doggy downer that the doggy diner is no longer here so th this used to be the location of a restaurant called the doggy diner it was a, a chain restaurant in the bay area san francisco there was about three or four locations i guess um closed down in the 80s uh somehow some way the heads, the dog heads that were, you know, a, uh, a part of the business that you would always see that sign, you know, when you were a kid, you wanted to eat at the doggy diner because of that sign and because of the menus, because of the names of the food on the menu. But uh, somehow, some way, someone saved these dog heads. And then after like 30, not 30, yeah, 30 years, after about 30 years, uh, they restored uh, a couple of these 
these dog heads and they put them in historical locations of where the old restaurant used to be. That's it. That's why that, that big red dog head is in the middle of my neighborhood at the beach. The story of the doggy diner. And it was located right here. It was, it was in this area right here. This location. It's gone now. We're just taking a walk. It's been a long time since we've done like a, just a walking video or something. Let's go for it. That's a trip. He's got the headlights must be broken. He's got like reflectors on the headlights right there. Interesting, wasn't it? Did you see that? Did you see that? <clears throat> okay. This is a piss hole. It doesn't look like anybody's taking advantage of it yet. But this is a hole in the sidewalk that goes all the way down underneath the sidewalk to where the people that live in the sewers live, the underdwellers. And this is where the underdwellers live. And uh, this is what they call a piss hole, where you piss down into the, the dwelling of the underdwellers onto their heads. And then uh, also you can flick cigarette butts down there, but you don't want them to be lit when you flick them down there because they could ignite methane fumes. one to grow on piss holes how to identify them and their use here's a map of the city all of the bus and train stops in San Francisco have a map of the city this is the city itself it's on the tip of a peninsula on the tip of a peninsula it's uh, seven miles by seven miles by seven miles by seven miles equals 49 square miles. That's Golden Gate Park. Um, there's Alcatraz somewhere over here. and There's Treasure Island. And there's uh, North Beach. And Fisherman's Wharf. And there's uh, drug addicts. And homeless people. This is the Tenderloin in Chinatown. There's 13 people die a day, every day from drug overdoses in like this 10 square blocks that we're looking at. It's awesome. This is a public library poster inside of the bus stop. It's been a long time since I've been to a public library, but every time I see a public library on YouTube, it, it has because of Drag Queen Story Hour. That's about it. Otherwise, I don't know that anything else happens at the library other than Drag Queen Story Hour. Oh, look at this. Okay. Isn't that handy that that just happens to be the advertisement that's at the bus stop? It's nice to, to, nice to know that you know, this organization, California.gov, they're saving lives. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh God, that smells good. Okay, these smell incredible, you guys. This smells really good. These flowers smell great. The thing I like about these flowers is they don't smell like a dead body. A lot of flowers, not a lot, but some of the flowers around here, a couple of them, they actually have that smell of uh, uh, what they call it. What do they call it? Like a carnivorous plant, but it isn't. What is it called? A carrion plant? I forget what the name is. Anyway, there's this species of plants. I think that um, 
magnolias are part of the species because magnolias are the ones that to me when they're in bloom they smell like rotting flesh yeah yeah i used to get mag i used to get magnolia flashbacks like when i would walk by a magnolia tree and smell it it would give me a flashback because it smelled like dead bodies it really did seriously seriously i used to be able to smell the smell on my own like i could conjure it up in my head there might be some of you out there that totally know what i'm talking about i really love this plant right here i don't know what this plant is called again i forget the name of it my neighbor had these and they're really definitely like a weird star trek looking plant and they get big and beautiful the larger they get. These are like new ones that they planted that they're hoping are going to take and do well. But they get really cool. It's like right out of a Dr. Seuss book, isn't it? Which is fitting because this city is like a Dr. Seuss book. The bitter butter battle. Star-bellied sneeches. That's what it's a lot like. Boil that dust speck, boil that dust speck, boil, boil, boil. We're the Rickerson brothers, and we know our stuff. We're going to stop the who's who are not, who's who are not, something like that, right? <sighs> Very foggy. How can I forget you, girl, when there's always something there to remind me? Always something there to remind me. I was born to love you and I will never be true you'll always be a part of me I walk these streets each morning in the fog and sometimes I find piss holes I take you with me on these walks and when we film them you are bored how can I not despise you, girl? Why are you watching these stupid fucking videos? Ba -ba. Why don't you just unsubscribe? Ba -ba. I was born to annoy you. What are those? Lilies? Ah, it's fucked up. Shitty mural at the beach. Make a wish. Have a ball. Dream a dream. Be it all if you want it. You can get it. But to get it, you have to want it. Anything you want to try. Just let go and fly. Kick a ball, feed a bird, anything. Cut a turd right here on the beach. The within reach of tourists and locals alike. You can take a pee, you can take a poop, you can shoot up drugs, no one gives a fuck. Hey, 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 good morning. We're at the precipice, the edge of the cliff. Oh, shit. Oh no! Very foggy, low tide, really low tide. Look at that, look at how far out it goes, shithead. They're a little, when it's low like this, see this spot right here? I love when it does this. So, you see this spot 
when the tide gets low, it reveals a cove. Look at that cove right there. You guys probably can't tell because you're fucking land loving legs, but this is a cove under the water. The, the depth, it's right here, straight in front of us and see how it's a little cove that you wouldn't even know was there when it's all filled in with water. But when it recedes, and that can be a fun little spot to swim right there and to bodyboard or body surf or swim. But there's no real waves crashing right there in that little cove. But there might be some cool shit under the water that you could look at if you had a mask on. Maybe some crab down there that you could catch and eat. Look at these guys over here. Fucking seagulls, rats with wings. Actually love these guys. They're great. They're very smart. Very f and they're nice birds. I don't know. I've never had a problem with them other than they're mooches, but I mean birds are mooches. Biologically, I guess. But anyway, they're smart. They're nice. They're kind. Uh, there's males and females, and uh, they live here year round. When I was 17, it was a very good year. A year of rip curl, corduroy, OP shorts. I took bong hits when I was 18. It was a very good year. A year of quitting my job as a busboy and finally getting the job at the comic shop. I could smoke pot at work and was my own boss. But somehow I craved meaning when I was 19. It was a very good year. I was in the army and I had left behind all that gay ass fucked up, smoking pot, growing long hair, wearing rock concert t-shirt shit. And I had moved on to a job of meaning and a feeling of overall worth and well-being because I helped others for a living. When I was 59, I got a smartphone. I began shooting videos and voicing my opinions about vintage toys and comic books and other fucked up gay ass shit. And here we are at the beach. Wow, that looks really cool right here. So these are called tide pools, what you're looking at. Little differentiations in the ocean floor that when the tide goes out, it becomes unflooded with water, portions of it. So you can walk along and look down into the deeper portions and it's kind of like being on an alien world for you if you've never seen anything like it you're some kind of fucking cherry fairy but this is this is where we are this is the uh, tide pools I used to play with these or play in these when i was a kid this is an ideal place to play with your gi joe or your major matt mason or you know whatever your trucks your cars uh, you could be down here all day playing in these tide pools with the G.I. Joe. 
or the Lone Ranger and Tonto as well. Same time frame. Never see kids down here playing in here. Never. I haven't seen kids playing down in here in fucking years. Uh, barely even see little, you know, kid groms anymore. Like, I, if I see little kids, I don't even see little kids surfing here anymore. Almost never. Almost never. Because they're all inside. Because they're genetically engineered and they're, and uh, by, you know... They're fucktard parents and the government who overthrow my country and my culture. Skip the Saturday dance. Cross the floor out the door. Awfully lonesome without you. Don't get around much anymore. Darling, I guess my mind's more at ease. Oh, but nevertheless, why stir up memories? Been invited on dates. Haven't gone, oh, what for? Awfully lonesome without you. Don't get around much anymore. Darling, I guess my mind's more at ease. Oh, but nevertheless, why stir up memories? Been invited on. Real low tide, you can get right out here. And it's nice. Do this. This is like Dagon territory right here. You got to be careful because there's like amphibious elder gods get into your your brain and make you a bedwetter. That's what happened to me. Off the Want to look at graffiti this morning, shithead? Come on, let's go. Oh wow, it's a, this is probably the second video or something. I mean, it, it, 